the Nikki Glaser podcast. Nikki. Hello, here I am. I'm 38. I'm Nikki Glazer. It's the Nikki Glazer Yay. podcast. Welcome to the show. It's Thursday. Andrew's here Yo. in my apartment with me. Also joining me in St. Louis. Here in studio is my best friend from, um, I guess it started in middle school, right? Yes. Um, it's Taylor. Do you want to say your last name? McGraw. Do you want Taylor know it? McGraw. Yeah, I didn't know it. That's my Hard secret. Hard C. Hard C. That's, that's how I've uh, I forget my best friend's last names and then I go, do you want me to say it? And then I make them say it. It's a it's well, a new trick to figure out your best friend's last names. What was that dog name in high school that would scare you from drugs or whatever? Um, Something McGraw? Scruff McGraw. Yeah. Scruff McGraw. Scruff McGraw. Did you feel related oh, to him? Oh, McGraw. Yes. <laughs> was in there? the face. I hated that guy. <laughs> He Why a, did you hate he him? He creeped me out. He was in a trench coat. He seemed like... <laughs> I was going to say like the Burberry trench. I, it made me there. like... No, I didn't like it. He was always sneaky. It was just like, be out and open. Why are you undercover? You're teaching us about drugs. I don't know. I just didn't like... He always seemed like to be, uh, you know, coming out of the shadows or like a dark bar. You know, he was up to no good. It'd be cool to just talk to him when you're high. Mm. Yeah, you know, after smoking a little weed with McGruff, you know what I mean. Like he seems like what a high guy would do would, to teach. That's like kids probably how. what they came, how they came up with him was they got high. <laughs> what if we had a fucking basset hound <laughs> in a trench coat, dude? And he like had a badge that he would flash. <laughs> is he on a leash? No, dude. He is upright. He walks on two <laughs> legs. Sick. He has like an attitude, like a grizzled cop that's been at it for like 25 years who's like on the beat still and should have retired, but he's just too good to give it up. Maybe their idea was like, look, we're going to give to kids when they look at a normal dog what they would see when they're high. We're going to give it to them when they're not high so they, so they, they don't, don't need to get high. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got it all with McGruff. Like Taylor McGraw. We think of friend. all the, um, like all the, the uh, like Smokey the Bear. The bandit? No, the bear. Like, like yeah, any yeah. kind oh, of like yeah. animal that they tried to teach us a lesson through. Yeah, they're like, <clears throat> um, yeah, you're burning down my house. He just had big well, eyes. He looked like Teddy Ruxpin. He just looked animatronic, but I think they, yeah, he, he just wanted to prevent forest fires. I'm trying to think of anyone else. Dare? There was no face of Dare. The only people that wore Dare shirts were people that got high. Yeah, it was like the the first ironic thing yeah, to do yeah. as a teenager. Yeah, I bought one. Why wasn't there a dare You bought guy? one? The day after I got stabbed. What? I, it's a whole long story if you've never listened. But Someone told me they were in New Orleans and they drove past the hospital where you went when you were stabbed. And they were and I was like, oh, I oh a landmark tour. <laughs> <laughs> Just different places I Taylor bled out. In, Taylor lived in New Orleans. Oh, you did? For mm-hmm. a year? Just a year. It seemed like you wrote a story about it and it seemed like the story I read... It felt like you were there for seven years. Yeah, riding around on your bike, McGruff. I was very grizzled and leaning against brick walls all the time. <laughs> How old out. were you? Uh, Dude, probably like twenty-five. Taylor, like she was just surviving on nothing. Like she was, you were basically like homeless, kind of just like making it. Work I had there. a home, but I had nothing else. I played car check. That's how I got money. That's what, when you, you go play? and you check the door of cars, and if they she- are open, you may steal anything you find there. You may. That's the law. That's the rule. <laughs> Wait, what did you? What made you convince yourself that that's okay? Uh, Some kind of animal in a trench coat. <laughs> a crawdad. But you used to like, used to go around. Would skates, you ever make roller skating crawdad? Would you ever make cars go? <laughs> yeah, and then you run. But or no, what we would do actually is we would just tip a bunch of garbage cans and around it and like create a distraction. So they go, oh, that's why. Yeah. And be like, oh, I fell. What on stuff it. is that? Did you find in people's cars? And what would you? Me, I mean, you bear, never broke a, a Big Mac. No, like I, we would find. I a found Big a, Mac. Like, <laughs> like half eaten or just straight up. Like cigars. I don't. No, just straight up fresh. <laughs> My friend ate it. Um, I don't, CDs and stuff. I don't know. There wasn't like that much stuff. Change stuff that I did. I would sell anything. Because if back I broke then, you into could a sell car and a Big Mac was not touched, I'd think it was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it that's really like the only thing you have to stop someone from getting in your car. Yeah, well, who's leaving not locks? Uneaten Big Mac. And They're also, just sitting like dainty. Where would you seat. sell stuff? That's eBay. why I couldn't be a criminal because I would. Whenever like I see these groups of people that are now going into malls and like groups of mm. seven people and just like all of a sudden ransacking everything very slowly and no one can do anything about it, I I get stressed out for them because I'm like, 
oh, they have to list that on eBay. Like they have to list that thing. Like they have to look up the SKU number. I like Scoo. really, I literally get stressed out about like, are they going to use eBay or Poshmark? Like I think of all the clerical work that is on the other side of them scooping things off of shelves into trash bags and then running out. Yeah. I think pawn shops Oh, that's for that you- kind of stuff, right? For like perfumes. Uh, maybe one time I stole a two hundred dollar bottle of perfume and I put it in my butt crack. Wait, where I did sold you it on it eBay? It was like almost empty. It was the most expensive perfume in the world. Fans where of was it? Lord and Taylor or something. Oh, so it was. Uh, you Taylor felt like your, your name asshole. is in it, and so you were like, <laughs> "Lord." I would I would just steal the testers of the expensive have perfume. You ever been caught stealing? Uh, you have once, to have when been. I was five. No, I wasn't. Oh wait, yeah, I was by in, uh, in Chicago. By well, what I did was I uh, at some point I just became like Sticky Fingers McGregor's, and I just took a sushi <laughs> and then just like went right outside and ate it. And then uh, the cop came around and was like, "You can't, you just stole it." And I was like, "But I there's did no evidence." Not. Oh, there is because they took me in the back and the size of like this whole wall. I'm not joking. Was a blown up picture of me stuffing it in my purse. Oh my god! I was like, I got it from CVS. He was like, They don't sell it at CVS. I was like, That was like no, a that was like a roller coaster me. ride at the end when you see the photo. Yeah, you they put like, in your do hands. you want us? <laughs> yeah. Do you want the framed version? <laughs> that would be hilarious to get a picture of you. Like getting caught, like Whoa. I did ask. I did ask if, For the I could, if I could take a picture of the picture. Yeah, he was like, no, absolutely not. This did is you crime. get like? Did they? Make they you just pay mailed for- me a ticket for that, which yeah, I just obviously didn't pay. Yeah, that's what I happened with me at Urban Outfitters. Um, but like, isn't that? That's the thing that happens when you start to just steal so much. You just think it like is a thing you can do because you get away with it so much mm-hmm. that you just forget to have any kind of precaution because you're just getting away with things so brazenly that it becomes like. Especially when you're living in New Orleans. And you even phrased opening yeah, people's car wild. doors like you may take anything you want. Like you created a moral a rule, yeah. rule in your head that Should've it's allowed. Should have it. Yeah. Should have. Didn't. You got to stop stealing. Do you still shoplift? Yeah. When? <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> why do you do that? I'm just thinking if I, I lock my Corolla. If you want to, quarter- if you hate capitalism, I don't steal from sh- people. I know, anymore. but like businesses still are still trying to thrive, and there's people that like <laughs> Walmart is trying to thrive. <laughs> Walmart's <laughs> thriven. I'm I'm the one who has never but you're thrived. Living, you're cr- doing a crime. You're living a. I mean, I guess you're being honest about it, so you're not living a lie. <laughs> no, like, there's no lies involved here. What are like things you do to make it look like you're buying something? Because this used to I'm be the so way fast. you were in high school, but we all dropped it and you didn't. I be- because now I'm old. Your bag now I'm old, it. and I, I no would one just, expects it from you now. No. And I and I would just be like, oh golly, I'll like go into Lowe's and like just steal every single thing instead of buying it. And if I got caught, I would just go, gee whiz, like, I'm 39. You're gonna go to prison. That's not what happens. Well, Pris- you're gonna get you're gonna get arrested. Have you ever been cuffed? Not for stealing, really. <laughs> Can't catch me. I love that. You're going to get so fucking busted. Well, the, now the I am because what if a end. copper What's the biggest this? thing no. you've ever stolen? Yeah, what's the, what's the most <laughs> like expensive the big, thing you've ever stolen? Well, most expensive and also We're the gonna largest. We're going to have to like, modulate her voice to be like, <laughs> the biggest thing I've ever stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Am I backlit? Um, um, so the alleg- biggest thing makes me laugh, though, because Allegedly, you can't- what's the biggest thing you've ever sold? Uh, large. Well, I, I stole a car. I stole a cop car and drove it around for a while. Okay. I put it back. I put it back in a different spot to fuck with Were you with drunk? Them. Yeah. <laughs> it was at the Jimmy... It wasn't like out on the street. It was at the Jimmy Buffett show parking lot, which I wasn't going to go in the show. I just go to hang out in the parking lot what and steal think, all the stuff out of the car. But cars. if you were oh, fuck yeah, stealing dude. a cop car, Taylor, <laughs> don't you know that that's probably a felony? <laughs> She didn't yeah. steal it, though. I didn't steal it. I stole his badge. But you, but you did steal it because you can. Because his name was Taylor, coincidentally. Oh my god! Then my friend, like he had, we would like pass around. Stealing he, a cop badge has got to be backyard. like you could be beheaded in, in our country. Oh, it's like hitting a do- like a, a horse cop or something. It's yeah. probably on that level. It's probably really bad. So you didn't do that. Like you allegedly did it. You're full of tall tales. Um, tall tale wait, tales. What's, what's the most expensive thing you've ever stolen? Or like the cop one that you're like, oh no, but you did. I don't know why. Would you st- don't be cur. You stole a cop car. You have to admit that that is so dumb. If you had children, would you say yes? Mom stole a cop car. Like, got it? <laughs> Please say it with some level of like I was an idiotness. You're saying it like it was a the normal thing to do. I can't it. be friends with someone. The who keys were it. in it, Nikki. It's not a. 
How old were you? You are not allowed to steal a cop car. I don't. I don't allow. That. I don't want you going to jail. It was. I mean, I don't even know For if I was joy, the one right? driving like, What were you it? doing? Why were you stealing it? would have been it? funny if you drove yourself you to jail. You think you're going to leave? Because it was a... Okay. Oh, actually, I'll tell you why. The reason we did it is because he left the lights on and we jumped the oh, car Oh, you were him. helping him. Yeah. So we, d- we drove our car all the way across the Jimmy Buffett parking lot through... People brought sand. We were skidding in it. You know, like they lay out in the yeah, sand. Yeah, hell yeah. And coolers Buffett. were just drinking everybody's beer. And then... So we decided to be nice and we jumped his car. But then we're like, we're going to just drive it around and then we'll say we were just making sure that it would keep running but we parked it somewhere I used to do this too else. where I would oh, always have an excuse, excuse yeah. for when they did catch me yeah. like oh I was trying on bracelets I didn't realize I left this one on exactly you know like I would, I would create a scenario around it so we it. helped the cop in reality because he would have got out of the parking lot it would have been dead and he would have been in Taylor, trouble Taylor you need to do better than this it's, I don't know, you it sounds like a pretty good this. Jimmy Buffett song then. <laughs> stole a cop car just helping him <laughs> jump stole a bunch of lays and coconut bras <laughs> yeah. out of the back seat before we told the car wait okay are you at a point though when you're stealing that you do you do you steal now to resell or do you steal like to keep things or do you steal just for the thrill of it because no i do know that really i don't i don't think i don't i don't i don't know i don't get like a thrill i'm not like ooh titillating i like need stuff because i am impoverished usually yeah, that's true or i just like yeah, steal I don't the mind. shit for some reason i don't mind that like it doesn't hit me if you're stealing and you don't have that much money, and it's a little thing here and there, maybe some toilet paper, a no, cop car. I, I guarantee you it's wrong. I guarantee you through you can say whatever you want about capitalism, and I'm getting back at the man, but I guarantee you it's the man. It, it, it goes down to hurt the lower no, class. No, it is not trickle down. I bet you it does. Yeah. Yeah. If, if if big companies are losing money because of people stealing oh, stuff, no. who do you think they're going to punish no. in their company? This they're you, they're not, not going to take a bonus they're that year. Punishing. They're going to they lower wages, and they shouldn't be that big of a company in the first place. They're also they're never going <laughs> to oh, know. You taught them a lesson. Yes, yeah, right. Oh, I Taylor McGruff over here, <laughs> she's breaking down the big business. Listen here, kids. I'm an anti crime fighting dog. <laughs> kids, you got sticky paws. <laughs> 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 old gumshoe over here. I just pictured Taylor going to Ikea and like go like grabbing a dresser and then going around I would, and I around would. and then, then just walking right. Yes. And ma'am, what are you doing? It's like, uh, oh, oh, I thought I, I, thought I saw another just, arrow outside by my house. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just was following the arrows. <laughs> oh, there yeah, are the, a lot of Ikea that's just arrows. continuing that's arrows. Everywhere. I just, then I went out on the street and there were also arrows there. Just I made a left at the light. <laughs> um, you asked. Well, I just yeah, was, used this eyebrow gel on Taylor, and I was like, "You can just have it." And she was like, "No, I'll get some." And I was like, "I'm gonna I steal." Knew, it. I knew you were gonna steal it. I had a feeling. I was like, "That's why I wanted to give it to you," because I'm like, "Please do not steal from ELF. They they do cheap cosmetics. I don't want them to up their child labor. I don't mm. want them to up their prices uh, because they are cheap for a reason. And I hate when I go in there and I see people have ripped things out of packages. You're such a loser to do that. Like, just buy it or don't have it. Like, they're gonna be like. Like, okay, St. Louis, Missouri, on the 2nd of June, somebody stole this brow gel, which is $3. We're up in the price. But trickle if down. Enough people baby. do that because they see and it's just, you, you know, well, if everyone went out and just like threw their <laughs> shit on the ground, it would add up to a lot of trash. So you, it's just. It's small things. Please stop stealing. What's the most expensive thing you ever stole? Other than the cop car, like you ever get jewel? Like no, you ever do a heist? No. <laughs> Could you see? Taylor oh, well, doing the a level heist? at which it becomes a felony of like a merchandise. Yeah, it's way more, way more than I steal at once. <laughs> okay. well, you I said would... you go to Lowe's and you steal everything. Yeah, no, yeah, it wouldn't add up. <laughs> I have a vague up. idea. None of this is adding Also, up. I'm not. <laughs> I'm like any, My I'm favorite like 10 minutes you. of this podcast ever. It's amazing. Okay. I uh, mean, I cannot believe you've only been caught once and it was sushi. And you sat in front of the grocery store you stole it from and right. ate the sushi. Yeah. Because I didn't think I, there was a he- camera behind the cereal boxes I've or whatever. Don't you know where the cameras I've are? Done that. Yes, I do. But it was not. There wasn't one. It was in the. It, the picture was straight on, like it was actually behind a cereal box or something. I don't know how but they could have. Didn't got. that make you worried, like for the rest of time, that there were like cameras behind cereal boxes? I can't be now? living like that. 
Yeah, but I know I you can't be living I like this. <laughs> I'm trying I, to give you a change, girl. This is an intervention. I kind of want to join. Where are you going Come next? This is no. Later today to get a fucking, you want a brow gel too? She'll throw two no, I want a golf club. Can you get an iron for me? How would you steal a golf club? <laughs> put I would your, just take it. Put just walk asshole. out. No, if you just if you just have some confidence, they won't catch you. There have been times where I'm like, the other day I went to um, Amazon to, rec- to return some like, or not Amazon, but Whole Foods where you can return things from Amazon. And I got the wrong flavor of this protein powder. And I see the flavor I want on the shelf. And they're like, they won't let me do it because it's the time has lapsed because I forget to return everything. Oh, okay. Gosh. And I'm like, I, but it, can I just exchange? Can I just swap out these two? Do it. No, because it's I'll in their system. It. It'll be like, okay, a chocolate oh, one's missing and now we have an extra poor vanilla. Amazon. It's, it's just, <laughs> I'm not trying to be like a, uh, a goody two shoes. I just think that that stuff adds you got at least up. One goody and it shoe always on that trickles foot. down to like the people in the warehouses no. being punished or the people being like, they're already you're being not, punished. Though. They I, are. Don't, I don't think. Okay, so just add on to kick a horse when it's down. Okay, why add more punishment just because they're already being punished? That's a dumb argument. No, I guarantee you, if you ask every single person in the warehouse, if I, if, I stole something if they would be mad. There would be well, you can't nobody. steal from Amazon. I mean, they you would, would have a yes. fucking field day in there. Oh, oh, Amazon. <gasps> the four star thing? thing they touch. I bet you steal packages off doorsteps. No, I don't steal stuff from people. <laughs> and also, I only steal stuff that I need right now. So I you really don't steal, steal packages? Myself. Because that is like no. the most, that's like, that's like I don't steal candy from, from heaven I waiting steal from for you. Corporations watch out if but, you are one. But also... <laughs> I don't <laughs> steal from human people. Well, I have a package room downstairs, and There's I no can such sometimes I'm like, man, I could just take one of these, and no one would fucking know. Then you're even more fucked up than no, I but am. I but I don't do it. But there is some part of me that's like, I don't know any of these people's mm-hmm. people. I don't know their faces, so they can seem as entityless or impersonal as a corporation. No, really, uh, you okay. think a person? I like that you have a little bit of a moral code, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, she doesn't Peter steal Pan from or Peter Rabbit. She doesn't whatever steal that one from is that a small from business. Pan. It's never Robin small Hood. business. Okay, Robin yeah. Hood. That's right. We'll be back with uh, <laughs> more crime. Taylor McGruff <laughs> and uh, and Andrew Collin when we get back. Andrew. <laughs> Everyone steals a little bit at a time, but over time, does it add up? It doesn't when you subtract. That mic will be gone today. All right, we're back. <laughs> yeah, that's worse shit. Yeah, just I'm take a big inventory Nikki. of all of our equipment here. <laughs> like, because uh, honestly, this is owned by scanning, iHeart. It's not scanning. even owned by me. Yeah, you can steal oh. it from iHeart. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I'm justifying it. Well, Look, they it was... support you, and that might trickle. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna get some uh, trickle. <laughs> 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 trickle. <laughs> Look, it's gonna trickle to me or Noah. Nikki's fine. Nikki's fine. I love you and Noah. I would never trickle okay. on you. Uh, um, dude, so, yeah, I get it. Though. I stole a, a Chick Fil A sandwich almost every, in college, almost every go. day from. Now you're talking. Tell me more. But I, I didn't too. even think just, anything of it. But you grow up and you realize that like that's not the way you want to, and you can get in trouble. That can lead to like a lot of money being spent in court and like oh, arrested no. down the road. I don't want a record. Yeah. I barely want a, you know, an MP3. I already got a record. Bye, baby. I have Spotify. I don't need a record. <laughs> Old dad joke. In Listen. New Orleans, though, you could you could do a lot and and get it off your record. Like we had this um, lawyer named yeah, because you have Fred a rich King. dad, Fred King. Yeah, but you have to pay Fred King a lot to get it off no, your record. A couple hundred bucks, you're good. My record got Katrina. Well, I had he's a record dead now, got, but huh? What your happened? record got Katrina? Yeah, I had a record in New Orleans and I got Katrina. I called one day and was like, I need my records. And they're like, they are gone now. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? They all got Katrina. Like wet? Yeah, they got sopping. <laughs> Wait, what? I called the courthouse and I, I had, you had to, for having jobs, you have to like prove what your record is. And so I would call them and they'd be like, these are the crimes. And then Wait, one day I called them. What were the crimes? Come then? on. Public intoxication. Hopping freight trains. <laughs> Wait, who is this hobo? I don't. Who do you know? She's, she's like, like from a Bob Dylan song. Honestly, she was like this what in high school and she's not changed. <laughs> hopping trains. I didn't even think. I didn't want the, you to know. How did this happen? And why are you hopping trains? It's so dangerous. First of all, friends, friends, friends. I don't do it anymore. I'm freight, too old and crickety. They're company I've, freight trains, Nikki. They're yeah. not. Yeah, it's a big railroad. <laughs> Big R-R. <laughs> You're not stealing from like a hobby shop. Big R R. Why are you hopping trains? Uh, What's going on? I, I, I How was. did you hop a train? You just pop right on. <laughs> pop Why? the top. Because it's fun. Oh, because for fun. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> was it you and your friends? <laughs> yeah. Because you don't have it. to pay. Because you could go wherever. It's fun. Cause, you go wherever. Cause you like you know where the train is going. Because uh, yeah, sometimes. You act like a hobo. It's fun. What if you fall off and fall onto I the track? I would never. Well, <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks they're going to do it. I, would, I don't go in a part where you could fall. You go deep within. What do you mean? How do you hop on then when it's no, still? No, no, no. I would not get on if it's moving. Yeah, when it's still. You go oh, to a okay. train I yard. you like running. Oh. Like oh. someone who's trying to say goodbye to their, you know, sweetheart going to war. <laughs> like, no, John. And then you jump on. No, I just love Taylor I would never. getting on there. I'm not Danjo. I hate Were danger. Were there ever characters inside the tr- the uh the caboose or whatever what do they call them the freights that that the were box like cars scary? box car gym box car yeah Jimmy did you meet Jill? other hobos yeah what how were they they're chill we like just hang out with hobos whenever we would be on the trains <laughs> oh my god you drink uh wild irish rose and stuff um, and, like probably sing bob dylan so you got busted by the cops how did you get arrested for that because uh we we're like sleeping on the train and these cops came they're, they're called Why are you uh, sleeping on the train? they're called bulls was this an amtrak the railroad or, oh. guys are called bulls bulls b-o-l bulls b-u-l-l-s yeah and uh they <laughs> saw like little little heads pop up and he came where over are and he you said, are you on like a sleeper car is this an amtrak with like people on it or are you on like no it, like it's a like freight, an old freight trains so it's like delivering like you know goods and services eyelashes they were yeah. <laughs> brow gel <laughs> you can't even believe how gel. good my eyebrows looked on that train <laughs> call back uh no that we get on like empty box cars or grainers are the ones they have like a little bed in the so back so a bull caught you and they're looking specifically for hobos like you they said they put a, a, a gun a in my face with you? they took a gun out yeah and they said i thought she was the mexicans that's been stealing my sandwiches and he was like, but I already called you in, so I have to take you to jail. But so you he were was the person to... that stole his sandwich out of his <laughs> but cop I was. car, but you were in Mexican. First of all, there was no photo of it, Nikki. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like her giant, when she's eating sushi. Can't prove it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You, that's so like... did, you go to the, did you go to a jail cell? <laughs> yeah. And what happened? Did you go to court? The day of my life. Uh, no, because, no, I skipped out on that. I went, because it was So in, you had a warrant out for you because you skipped court, for sure. Yeah. Well, I didn't, at the time I didn't live in New Orleans. I had hopped the train to New Orleans and then I was hopping it back and when I got busted, so I was stuck in jail. You were like going to drive the train to like St. Louis, like go back where? Yes, we caught it in St. Louis and rode it all the way Just to get on a fucking Greyhound bus for 28 bucks. I didn't I have 28 bucks Just back then. Do any, go. But I had a Megabus scam that was so good. Oh what was that God. one? Remember that? <laughs> yes, yeah. I remember Megabus. You could yeah, ride for like here. a yeah. I decoded the like code, and back then we didn't have smartphones, so I figured it out. You I was still like, don't have a smartphone, beep, by beep. the way. Yes, that's right. She has a flip phone, by the way. I did like the like dee dee math, like where I put, put all the things on the wall and draw, put like a string Strings. around it, and I figured it out the code, and then I could just change it, and then I would just show, show the guy the code, and it worked every time. Oh, you took Never a photo of the it. code on the wall. It no, was like free the- or it was one dollar. <laughs> huh. Because they would always offer one dollar rides. Yeah, I, I was too slow for that or something, or I wouldn't have paid it. I would have you done would, the code. <laughs> I just didn't know you got you free could make ride. A code. That's. So I don't think anymore that you probably have to have scan your people. Do you? Oh. I think there's a part of you that likes being broke, so that you, like you're like my mom. Yeah. Like you, my mom could be a millionaire tomorrow, and she would still go to Goodwill. She would still like Nikki. We can't get those pot stickers. They're seven dollars. <laughs> not doing it. No, I don't need them. You go like, to Goodwill. If you want to get them, I'll, I'll have a couple. But I'm not getting them. And I'm like, you're a million. You have endless money. Like my mom yelled at my dad the other day for getting strawberries for four dollars. EJ, why'd you get those? And my dad was like, it's insane, Nikki. Like she can't. She's yeah. It has nothing to do with the money. Single, yeah. yeah, it's like this obsessive. Don't you think you're like that? You would still go to Goodwill. You don't like to pay for shit. I don't think I'm like that. I, you're not I try like to fight as that because rigid. I was raised with that. But I just feel like. If you have money, you should. I like paying for things that yeah. I like supporting things. If I can afford, if I can afford them, but I don't know. I'm just not. If you had, a, if you had millions of dollars, would you still be hobo? I don't think I'd ever have millions of dollars. I can't. You could win that the lottery. Happen. What if you stole a lottery I card? I would pay and you for wanted. a lottery. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You would steal it first. Wouldn't get caught. Want a million dollars? No, I would still. Uh, I I would just uh, spend it on taking my friends places, and I would. Uh, yeah. Still go to Goodwill. The will. Um, what else did you get arrested for? All kinds of shit. Like what? <laughs> uh, DWI. Oh yeah. Well, I had driving two, a, wa- a train two. while drunk. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Conducting uh, while drunk. <laughs> Wait. 
to, <laughs> wait, what, uh, how many DUIs have you gotten? Two. Um, and aren't those fucking I'm miserable? Fucked. Yeah. Okay. Well, one doesn't that was like as under bad as getting caught stealing? Like whenever I've been in trouble with cops, it's like it makes me want to just walk a str- follow McGruff and just do what he says because but I don't I ever deal with that again. I haven't been to jail in like fifteen years because now I'm just good. Okay. So what were your DUIs like? <laughs> Bada bang. Uh, one I was under twenty one and I was not drunk. It was like a zero tolerance oh, one. Right, right. The other one was not fair because my friend we only brought to this winery. Because she didn't drink and then she refused to drive my old shitty car. She was like, I can't. It makes me nervous. So I drove it. Which oh. I only got pulled over because the taillight was out. Which it oh. wasn't out. It fell back into the car because the car was shitty. Oh my wasn't God. my fault. <laughs> yes. So I'm you a victim were, of circumstance. Yes. You were a victim. So wait, your friend was hammered too and made but wouldn't, drive? No, 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 no. Her she friend was, was sober, so, but she wouldn't drive her shitty car because she was scared that she wouldn't be able to so operate it. wasn't shitty, but it was But it was like hard old. to operate. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard of a car eating its own tail light. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said, do the alphabet backwards. I'm like, what? I could never. I couldn't do that. So. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q. Oh, right. O-N-M. Nikki's my DD Whatever. for life. That's right. another disease. That's another reason why you should be I in used jail. to say that my mom drank so much that when we were little, she taught us the alphabet backwards. <laughs> while trying to say it forward. <laughs> and you're while, really while good at walking a straight line. I don't know what that means. but No, like she's trying to say it forward. But she's oh, so it's drunk just like a thing that drunk people have to say when they do field sobriety tests this guy you have to do yeah andrew's done crime i've done some crime no he gets caught because he's do- he does things that like he doesn't know are crimes like you know he'll get caught in fight or something and like get arrested for fighting like stuff the crimes of passion you're like i'm gonna hop on this little train that's I'm gonna passion steal a cop car that's no passion, this isn't baby. this is no uh, no being... likes crime no 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 I, I i like crime i do i i don't what i look yes i'm not like real to men Crime is it's kind of fun. Crime for a reason. Crime's kind of fun. What's the last crime? That is why you I, we're gonna have to disagree on that right there. Last crime. Crime is, fun. I crime is crime for a reason. It is the reason crime. stupid a lot of the time. Um don't okay. I'm trying well, to think my last crime. See, you don't like crime. That's why. Crime. Because yeah, you're an adult person do who doesn't want to fuck up their life because crime it doesn't pay. You pay crime. You end up paying <laughs> And you have to deal with lawyers and you have to like go show up at a courtroom at a time and like stand at a certain time. It sucks. I stand masturbated at a on like, yeah, they, like oh. a dog owner's couch or something. That's, That's like, not a crime. Should be. It should be. <laughs> but sitting on a freight train going like wee and singing Bob Dylan is a crime. Yeah, I don't get the freight train thing. I don't think that that should Neither be a anything crime. that I've done well, is actually You know why it's a crime? Because it if everyone up. did it, then there would be millions of people hopping hobo, like hopping trains, living on trains that are being yes. used to carry yeah. stuff that you can't take up space <laughs> with bodies. What are you talking about? That's why it's a fucking crime. I don't. I think I'm living in a no, bizarre I feel like, world I feel like that tomorrow, this is acceptable. I feel like tomorrow if people go, hey man, trains open season you maybe 10 percent increase i don't think no no yeah nobody you think, would do it you think if millions she's hop- of people are scared of homeless people are gonna be living in trains why wouldn't you want that and we have a homeless they do. situation because homeless people live on the street they they think they could live in a train right no one's stopping them from living in a train it would be dangerous and that people would fall into the train tra- i mean <laughs> these people are drunk i'm sorry but people who are homeless are oftentimes <laughs> being drunk or doing opioids oh. to like get through the hard life no, i don't my- blame them for doing it but you're not supposed to hop a fucking train when you're an opioid it leads to destruction and death and people to clean up your fucking severed head it's dangerous there's crime for a reason i don't understand what you are who am, who am i friends with this is like trickle up crime i don't like it i don't like uh, i severed feel heads are rolling everywhere i don't know when i became this like, no my point though is that goody two shoes but I, you're right now you're saying it's a crime that's why people don't jump on tr- trains yes it's to protect okay. us and to but, also but then you're the, also the trains are there for a reason not for people to sleep on i know it's a business but the homeless people right now sleep on the streets and stuff you, you think they don't go on trains because they think there's a law against it tr- going on a train yeah or do because you think- it's it's, uh, it, it's yeah I taylor got arrested if- immediately yeah. by a, a, a guys that look for hobos on trains eating sandwiches <laughs> they have no, a name it's only because of the sandwich <laughs> oh yeah he was mad about and it wasn't sandwich. immediately oh my god got away with well it. my birthday party was last night it was really fun andrew why didn't you sing karaoke we were talking about it earlier i wasn't feeling it i wasn't fe- i wasn't feeling like i don't know i was feeling insecure about i can't sing that well sometimes i get shy like that was a moment i don't know there was only like 15 people in the room at a time 
It just felt very like it didn't feel judgy. I just didn't want to. I yeah. didn't. I don't know why I didn't want to get up. Yeah. And, and then you else, left without saying goodbye, which is a very <gasps> weird move. I why? Didn't, because I left. There were 15 people there. You could just go. That was so weird. It was annoying. I thought you went to go play basketball or something. No, I was. I was doing that. And then text you me. And I know. Out well, you didn't have your phone. Well, I could have gotten home and seen. Hey, I know you don't have your phone, but I left early. Oh, I'm I guess sorry. I could have done that. I just Irish goodbyes when it's like a hundred people party and you're not my best friend are fine, but like it's just weird. It seems like I, you, I thought. Worried. Oh no, is he mad at me? Like oh it was this no whole thing. no no no. I mean, not at all. I was just really tired and. Uh, and I just like I don't know like you, you were the were exact singing. reason I didn't want to have a party. You shouldn't have gone because <gasps> what you are didn't. you talking about? I was okay. very. Well, that's and- what I'm talking about. No, I'm I'm just saying because I thought my friends are gonna feel like they have to go and they don't want to be there. And that's that's, that's not, example. But like, that's not. I think you're. But you I, didn't want to be there. You didn't want to sing. You felt true. awkward. None no, of that's true. And then you left early. You're bringing up all the negative. And you were tired. You're bringing up all the negative. It's because the train hopping I rolled her. You're not bringing no, up any not. of the positives. <laughs> but I'm just saying. I was a great. Was like, I was no. a great for the first. I would say 70% I was extremely involved yes. and a great fan, singing along, yes. being the number one supporter, getting the party going. Like, That's true. So, I'm sorry to. So I will then I that. just fell off a little bit. I was just tired. And it's a long drive. Yes. I had two drinks over the night. Yes. I didn't want to have another drink. And I was like, so you know. So stop drinking. <laughs> no, I did. I did. Done. No, I did. But and then I stole. I just to stay there, you got to keep drinking. I know, but you're looking at a lot of the negatives when there were a lot of positives. Well, I'm just saying that everyone goes, "No, Nikki, everyone wants to be there." And it's like I just got confirmation someone did not want to be there. They left early in a sneaky way to like not have to say goodbye and not make it a thing because they didn't want to be there. That's why I don't like parties. It's because of the expectation. But I think you're. I think you're putting that on that. I think the idea that I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be there past a certain time. That's all. Gotcha. And then you all were right. about to sing um, uh, Stevie Nicks. And I didn't want to, I don't know, you were about to have a moment with your mom. It just felt very like, okay, they're not going to mind me being gone. Like, I just didn't feel. But literally everyone said goodbye there except you. You could have just literally gone like this. It's not like we would have gone, Andrew's leaving. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I was just getting, getting right before that, I was getting shit that I didn't sing a song. So I, just, then, I, I didn't give you shit. I just go, no, you know what No, other people did. Okay, well, that's not my fault. You, I'm you just can still saying, say if you want to know exactly what happened, I and I apologize for not saying bye. Okay, thank you. I did say that. Thank you. That's I how the conversation for started. Yeah, you. you I, I apologize I want for apologies stealing. across the board, please. I'll but you're still going to do it. No, I don't. Uh, I am old. <laughs> well, where are you going to get that brow gel? I'm, I can pay two bucks, okay? It'll be very embarrassing if anybody sees Well, any I did have fun at something. my party last night, despite um, now realizing someone didn't want to be there oh my god but it's okay you did rally and you were really fun and you did my mom did stand-up comedy my mom was the mvp of the party it was insane (laughs) she is so funny i can't even take it she was do. she literally was doing stand-up comedy i was just giving her prompts to talk about and um she was killing. I think I have to like get her into doing stand-up because it was a form of expression for her that I've never seen. And my dad was like, we need to give her a mic more often. <laughs> Seriously? Because she was just like, what was she okay, talking what about? do you want to talk about? I mean, I, I just had her like list all her brothers and sisters <laughs> and then rank them from like her, her faves. <laughs> and that was pretty fun. And then she was down to do any of it. And then she was talking about... She was just going off, like she was just telling stories and um, and just being like, "What are you bitches doing?" She Nikki? was like heckling, yeah, yeah. She was kind of heckling. Chris yawned at one point during her <laughs> like performance, and she just goes, "Wake up!" To, like like really quickly to him, and it was like really like pretty great crowd work. I was kind of impressed. So I th- I want to encourage her to maybe do. Well, she did stand up that one time. Yeah, but she had like jokes. I think like this time, like she just needs She's- to like tell stories like i need to get her to tell stories and then because chris was saying to me like i know it'd be annoying if your mom like started doing stand-up and i'm like no i would fucking love it i would love it maybe just bring her out on me. stage and do like a q a yeah that would be or q and on <gasps> yeah q and on Q&A. <laughs> what do you know about q and on i don't even want to talk choice. about it that was my mom's like whole thing was she was get, <laughs> she was getting a little like uh yeah she felt kind of cornered into having to she went, like a political statement against uh yeah she's she is i'm just disgusted i don't want to talk about it um but she was <laughs> she was singing a lot and she was also she just she wants to sing every song she just and she's taking singing lessons she and my singing sing. teacher was there my art the woman that aria that 
helps my mom and gives her singing lessons was there and like encouraging her along and she was singing like really hard songs. I was pretty impressed. Um, but overall it was good. Uh, Taylor, what was your far- favorite part of the evening? Um, I I really liked What Ass Pussy done by Nikki Glaser. Yeah, What Ass Pussy And your Pussy friend was really that fun. was like very like a sweet girl. Yeah, she just had a baby. It's um, Chris's brother's wife, Emma. She has like a you know, four month old at home and she was singing what ass pussy. And it was funny because <laughs> Tim was like kind of blushing at her husband, but she was like smiling and like, it's just so funny to see this like sweet mom singing this song that is <laughs> very explicit and everyone can see what the lyrics are. Cause they're like big on the screen. <laughs> so this whole room of people is watching this sweet mother sing what ass pussy. And we were going back and forth with it. And it was funny cause Chris goes, Tim, you know how I feel now. Like, cause there, Tim was feeling a little bit embarrassed of like how raunchy Emma yeah, was being. Yeah. And he was like, now you know what my world is. And it was like, well, oh, that's nice to, to see. Okay, we'll be back with some Fanthrax. All right, we're back. Let's do Fanthrax. All right, let's get to it. Noah, what do you have for us? Sorry, Luigi, you can't get up here. Do you want to get up here? Come on up. Come on in there. Let's start with a voicemail from Luke. Okay, Luke. Noah, Nikki, Andrew, this is Luke from Lincoln, Nebraska, and I'm calling about episode 219 and 220 about that college in Canada offering that Taylor Swift class, and I couldn't help but think what band might be least likely to have a class about it, and I couldn't help but think about my favorite guilty pleasure band, Third Eye Blind, specifically that song, Semi-Charming Life. I wish you. You know, I Mm. want something else else. to get me through this this. semi-charm kind of life, life. right? So their music sounds so happy. It's got that summer fun vibe, yet the lyrics, if you read them, they're pretty dark and dirty. Um, Maybe a fun game you guys could do is play... Uh, is this a third eye blind lyric or something from your mom's adult romance novel collection? I don't know, oh. just a thought. So, love you guys. Don't be cool. And do 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 ham drip do 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 Oh my god, do 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 fashion egg. Oh my god. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's look at those lyrics. And I love that song. Yeah, the sky was gold. There was so sick as a second to my nose. Okay, so it says, <laughs> and to speak to you like the cor- chorus is to the verse, chop another line like a coda with the curse. Come on like a freak show takes the stage. We g- give them the games we play. And then it goes on to, the sky was gold. It was rose. I was taking sips of it through my nose. And I wish I could get back there someplace back, back there, there. Smiling in the, the pictures, pictures you would take. take. Doing crystal meth with you up until you break. I won't stop. I won't come back down. I keep the TikTok rhythm. A bump for the drop and then I bumped up. I took the hit that I was given. Then I bumped again. Then I bumped again. I said, how do I get back there too? And then I believe in the sand beneath my toes. The beach gives a feeling, an earth an earthy feeling. I believe. Okay, so. Um, it's about meth? This song's about meth. Yeah, it's about meth. Whoa. It is I weird like when it, you huh? like start singing songs and look up the lyrics to go, whoa, this is what it's about. What did you think? There was some song yesterday that we, you were like, there I always so thought many. it was. Someone said they thought Hey Jealousy was Hey Chelsea. Uh, and thought you it thought hair, it was Hair Jealousy. Hair Jealousy. Hair jealousy. <laughs> I, was, I bet 20 it. bucks on it. I lost. Hair Jealousy. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, that was a great suggestion, and I love. Yeah, what band? Third Eye Blind. What band would be your least uh, like? Like UB40, like Red Red <laughs> Wine, or um, honestly Maroon Five. Maybe Moves like Jagger is my least favorite song of all time. <laughs> of all time, no, but they have a home. big catalog to teach. Maybe like a one hit wonder to do a whole. I actually like a lot of Maroon Five. I just hate that song so much. I hated that. Ooh. I'd like to know more about Mr. Big. Come on, little girl. Tell me That's what. His name is Mr. That, that, that band was called Mr. Big? I think so. Yeah. Whoa. I yeah. thought he was just. What a... about Chumba Wumba? Oh, I, oh the. Um, do you do a class on it? What song do they sing? I mean, it's hard to break um, it down. It's like another language. I get language. knocked down, but, but I, I get, get up, up again. again. That's it. That's in, it's pissing the night away, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you really pissing break down that, I mean, what's that mean? She takes a whiskey drink. She drinks a vodka drink. <laughs> she takes a club soda. She takes a Capri Sun. We're going to need a professor okay. to figure stand it out. up about her family. She just, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that that would be my least favorite is just a song, a, a musician. I, I don't really hate any musicians except DJ Khaled. 
Okay, let's. <laughs> and I'm calling him a musician is quite a stretch. Be the best class on earth, though. Oh my! It would be, it would be the greatest <laughs> because he said so. Okay, um, Noah, next fan thrax. All right, here is a story from Taylor. Ooh. Okay. Hey, besties. This is Taylor from Chicago. I was just listening to the Reddit dump uh, Bukaki episode. Um, which it totally does sound like bullshit, and I think I might start using that as a synonym for yeah, bullshit. That's but a bunch of bukkake. I wanted to call in with <laughs> a, a misuse of word story. I used to work at a salon as a receptionist, and it was at the front desk one day, and a stylist brought up her client to get her all checked out and on her way. And the stylist said to the client, like, oh, your hair is just so much brighter now. Like, it's very rejuvenating and blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, yeah, it just really euthanizes your look. And <laughs> oh, I had yeah. to sit there with Love a straight it. face. And it was honestly yes. one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. <laughs> um, I just wanted to share that with you because it's absolutely ridiculous and other people need That's to know about so it. Funny. But love you guys. <laughs> love the pod. And I got nothing. That's <laughs> what was the days we don't either. That's so funny. I used to have a joke that I was like, I, when I played a car- like kind of Sarah Silverman ish mm-hmm. joke, where it was like, I say things that I don't know that they're bad. And I was like, I took my dog into the you know vet, and he was looking old. So I was like, Is there anything you could do? Like I heard about this thing where you can euthanize him to make him younger, and they and so now I don't have a dog anymore. And they killed him. And I act like surprised about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is so funny. Yeah, really euthanize. You gotta correct people on that. You gotta go, you, and it's so funny that two people that you listen to, exchange, like they both think that that's a word. Yeah, you could correct them. I don't. Just go. There are some people that'll be like, "Oh, I know," or I, they just wouldn't or, take oops. it way well. I don't know who no, doesn't. No, but that's take that too well, funny though. to go. You just picked a word that it's not like it means something yeah. that is. It means to put to sleep forever. <laughs> yeah. So it's like. It's it's funny that that's a funny correction to make to someone. I would I would think it's not like being like, well, excuse me, I think you mean <laughs> yeah, yeah. that you think that maybe then instead of then yes, it's not that shit. yeah, um, but that is so funny and it does sound like it should be yeah. You use for a second. I was like, what's wrong with that? Yeah, right. And I was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> But I like that two people were just like it does euthanize you. But that does that does sound like a treatment I would want to have is the euthanizing face mask. Yeah, it just I'll makes your it. hair look dead. I mean, it's most like Botox because it freezes it. And yeah, it, it just does. doesn't move. And Do then... you know that's why oh, that you look sense. shiny with Botox? Is because when you become dead, your skin atrophies oh. and it becomes very shiny. Yes. And Botox people, you get a shiny forehead when you get Botox because your skin kind of thinks it's dead. Oh wow. I don't know the exact chemistry of it, but there's some kind of thing about it's, that. That yeah, adipose. Have you ever seen an open so casket? Yeah. With people in it. Well, there weren't because <laughs> Taylor had gotten the there before me. But <laughs> <laughs> it was open because Taylor because it was. She, I used to crush Listen, if there's a ca- casket that's open, it is your <laughs> duty to take what's inside. Steal the rings off His the His name fangs. was Big Mac. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, who's who did you see dead? Oh, I mean, I'm Mike. Uh, oh, you've seen a great, lot. My grandma's boyfriend, which sounds funny, but he was like ninety <laughs> something. Um, my what friend did you who killed think, himself though, when you saw it? Because I, I've only seen one. It well, he already looked intense. dead. Oh. He already looked like. Oh, like he already <laughs> looked like the guy in Seven oh. who like coughs up dust and yeah, he, I yeah. think is dead. He already looked like <laughs> like that he looked more that. alive yeah. when he was. They gave him a little like <laughs> bronzer. Um, the guy that my friend who uh, shot his blew his head off essentially. Jesus. I could not believe they would do it in an open casket, but they really. Fixed him up in a way that, like, he just looked very pale. Yeah. And, like, yeah, it was creepy. But I couldn't believe, because I was just like, where? Where is it? I was trying to, like, look for the... Well, maybe because it's the back of his head. Yeah, they can can do amazing things. I mean... That's dark. Yeah, it's dark as fuck. But listen... um, I saw my grandpa. I was like, he's not in there. Like, there was nothing in there. Yeah, I just read this really sad story about a woman who was, like, writing about you know, losing her child in Sandy Hook and writing like a kind of a letter to uh, p- parents that lost their kids in this recent shooting about like, here's what I went through and here's what to expect. And like, Jesus. she was talking about like holding her child's hand after it was like, oh she could, and she was just like, it's just, it's, it's, they're not there. Shh. They're not there. Shush. I know. Oh, shush. I know children might be listening. Oh my God. Oh, I, mean, I got shushed recently. Taylor had they a great die. moment with your dad last night. This makes me think of, so your dad, you know, telling the story. He's like, I'm losing my voice, but I'm also going to talk the whole time. My dad um, was, he, I mean, he sounds terrible. 
But it makes me so cool. cool. kind of cool. I thought he sounds <laughs> pretty cool. It so, sounds like that. So he sounds like he's drowning in mud constantly. <laughs> when he's talking. It's really awful. <laughs> mud to flood. He was telling his story though. He's like this guy. <laughs> we were going around telling stories. We were at the graveyard. And, uh, oh yeah, he went to his fifty year reunion, and, goes, and all of his friends walked around a graveyard he go, he to see goes, their friends. He goes. Yeah. Uh, they took him off life support, and then he then he lived another four years. And Taylor goes, that doesn't really makes sense and your dad you could just see your dad i don't think he you've ever been it. called out on like the, the truth like he truth. said but he did say that the wife yanked the cord like she was pull- starting a lawnmower yeah, yeah that's what the guy said the joke of so this guy got taken off life support which and lived no, for four years not, to oh, then laugh three, about it he said three times no that did not happen first of all my dad exaggerates by 30 percent. so if it's four years take off a take off it was a it was at least two years but not uh, more than three there's nothing like, better everything than my call. dad does is 30 percent exaggerated everything every number every quantity every uh length of time any kind of number it's always exaggerated because he knows how to tell a good story is what he'll say and yeah. i say no mm-hmm. you know how to lie constantly <laughs> well it's funny the thief called out the liar uh, you know I, I don't oh lie. yeah no, i do not lie. Have a moral code when it comes to telling t- t- tall tales is that oh. what you guys do on the railroad? You make sure everyone tells the, <laughs> yeah. tells the truth. The like, way of the road, road, boys. Don't rob me from the truth. God, did you, want, did you <laughs> read the Taylor's boxcar shame children show. as a child? No, I don't read fiction. <laughs> this is like Taylor's fucking shame because it's a lie. I hate lies. Wait, you don't uh. read fiction? No, because it's fucking made up lies. But they're, You just don't... read things that are real. I understand that. I don't like fictionalized things okay. either, but you have to understand. I under- for me, it's not my preference. But don't act like it's not valuable in society. No, like, I just don't read things. it. Okay. No, I'm just saying. You it's only not read books about like spider carcasses. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, how talking. to pin them in a in and Taylor's Taylor's hobbies include mm. um, collecting bug specimens, uh, <laughs> cartography of old rock quarries. This is real. You're by like the way. Lucas from that movie. The Lucas. Taylor Shame Show. No, it's not the Taylor Shame Show. You're so interesting. I don't understand no, it's the you. Best. And um. And like you should, but Taylor loves uh, collecting bugs. And you make your own deodorant. What's the best bug you've ever stolen? <laughs> <laughs> I stole his life. A scarab. <laughs> Scroll. Wait, do you ever kill bugs to of course. take them? Or you think I just find them dead? Yes. No, you gotta kill them dead. Oh, damn it. Well, if kill you don't want to make dead. this a shame show, we just <laughs> walked into a territory I don't have a lot I don't of. kill dogs. It's just a little bug. Bugs, I would protect you. It would go on you and you would like be dogs. pissed. No. So wait, what do you yeah, do with the bug? Yeah, up How do you... How do you kill them? Pin them and I have a collection. Wait, how do you kill them? Do you have any centipedes? No, I, that's not an insect. But I mean, well, I do actually. But it is an, I what is it, an arthropod? Yeah. Really? Is that right? Uh, actually, I don't know. I only know about insects. Okay. Well, um, let's do. I almost have to hold your hand. Caress. <laughs> and Taylor has given herself all of her tattoos. These are all her own. Oh, those she, are really good. she does her own tattoos with pen. On the freight train. On the freight train. <laughs> Uh, with in a, a thunderstorm, how do you do insects with everywhere? Like needles the and body to mosquitoes and put it in her arm. It says obscure facts on here. That doesn't. That's seem what I like. W- my dad was trying to, and you got mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. Oh, that was great. You have an apple core. You have something that says mag magic magic. <laughs> oh Guess I'm not God. that good. <laughs> you better euthanize that sentence. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Maggot. Okay, let's um let's <laughs> Mitz says maggots. Final thought, let's go to another fanthrax if we have time for it, Noah. Um, okay, so this is a message that came uh from Kira on Instagram. And okay. you guys are gonna be in Pittsburgh on Saturday, so she wanted yes. to share some fun facts about mm. Pittsburgh. Oh, great. Please. Okay. Uh has more bridges than any city in the world, four hundred and forty five. Which is why it's okay. called the City of Bridges. Didn't know that. Okay, there's suicide joke. TBD. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which the, one do you pick? <laughs> the world's the first T Rex skeleton oh. is displayed at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in Pittsburgh. Whoa! It was until Taylor stole it and put it in her living room. <laughs> That's the biggest. Taylor's her favorite fake. band is T Rex, <laughs> isn't that, it? It was at one point. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes. score. I love that they're tying Nailed. in together. Okay, <laughs> how about this one? Uh, there is a gravity hill in North Park where your car will roll uphill. Well, we know oh. who's probably driving it <laughs> if it's going somewhere. Oh, it was just somewhere the gravity to... uh, took it to, for a spin around the lot. I was borrowing it for gravity. 
research. I was at um, a Neil Young that's concert. That's crazy. Dude. Okay, so gravity like doesn't work somewhere. The you car find that place. apparently rolls Goes uphill. up. Maybe because of the moon or something. Okay. Um, any other facts? Uh, just famous people from Pittsburgh. Yeah, let's hear them. Mm. All right. Jimmy Stewart. You can stop. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimmy That's Stewart. We like Jimmy Stewart. Uh, you know, uh, Wonderful Life. Harvey. Yeah, I've never. I don't know that guy. What? Jim- I mean, I've heard his. You hear his name, but I don't know what he. I know he's an actor, comedian, kind of thing. Really? But I've never seen his work. Jimmy Stewart. He talked like this. I think. <laughs> they all did back then. <laughs> Coitins for you. Coitins. Well, you've heard of this. It's a Wonderful Life, right? Uh, it's a movie. Yeah. It's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's another movie, but it's a wonderful life. Okay, who else? Um, Gene Kelly. Oh, um, another oldie. Anyone within the last yeah. two centuries? Mr. Rogers. All right. Again, uh, what about like Mr. Rogers? Last that's 30 a good. Years. That's a good. Christina famous Aguilera. Yeah. Oh, okay. there we go. Come on over. Um, who's? Do you have any like famies from uh, Port St. Lucie besides uh, Megan your boy? Fox? Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Oh yeah, there's the thumb thing. It's something about her toes or her thumb. Something. No, her thumb. You, she has the same thumb. Yeah. She has, yeah. Uh, same the thumb, thumb thing. You. That's a good one to have or, from or your town. Thing. Where about your from your home? Oh wait, you're from here. Mm, Bob Costas. I mean, t- before we leave, I just want to say that Taylor was in the car with me when I hit a garbage man. Crime. We've been through a lot. I didn't Crime. know you were in the car. Hell she yeah. was in the car. Can you were? Do you want to tell what your perspective was? We were rocking out. We we're going to an eighties uh, game, basketball, basketball game. game we, were dr- we were in the pep like club, eighties because we we're in the pub. Yeah, and he jumped right out. I, I mean, I was, I testified. Yeah, you did. He jumped we to court. straight That's out. That's why I don't like getting in trouble. I've been to court. I don't like it. This yeah, is why sucks. you don't start off 50 minutes saying you're a thief and then just the person backing up your one story <laughs> when you killed a guy. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I'm sure he He's, got jacked. Yeah, I don't. Was he even really hurt? Yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> the story's not adding up. He flew a little bit. He did fly. But he was like Superman case. through the like. He jumped and was like literally. It like, was like. Did yeah, he hit your windshield? Like running man. No, he hit the front of my mom's big ass like, Land Cruiser. <sighs> It was yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So tell what did you dum, did you dum. say? Keep driving. We, we started laughing. It. We we used my mom's car phone. <laughs> we, we laughed. I, Who did you call nine one one? I laughed hysterically because, and that's what happens a lot of times when you have a traumatic event. People just laugh hysterically I think I when did something laugh, weird yeah. is happening, mm-hmm. like that. Like I it did. I remember feeling really guilty. Like why am I laughing? But it was just so. I mean, really I shocking. know it, I can remember exactly how we looked, and it was funny. Yeah, we the, looked. We were in eighties gear. And we were just like, boop, boop, did you boop. call nine one one with your mom? Yeah, yeah, yep. And I was like, "There's a garbage man down," <laughs> and we got out of the car. And there was a part of me that was like, "I should leave." Yeah, I should just. Go. I didn't think that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you think. Like, Ethics. honestly, I understand hit and runs when people just <laughs> run because wallet. you just like <laughs> you're so you're not a bad person. You just like are so scared, like. And you think they might be dead, so what are you going to do? Like, I don't know. There's yeah. You do weird stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. My Aunt Sally's calling, and I've been avoiding her call. She gave me a card for my birthday to, from my mom that said, pick up your fucking phone in the middle of the card. You open the card. It says, happy 38th birthday. Pick up your fucking phone. Love, Aunt Sally. <laughs> it was written in, like, jail font, chicken scratch. Yeah, like, she, <laughs> it was she's threat. in a wheelchair and, like, can barely write. And it l- Oh, that could be why. Not yeah. jail. It could looks be. like one of your tattoos. <laughs> um, t- <laughs> magic. Call back. Mag- Amdrip. Magic. Um, any other um, memories from our childhood that you want to share? Uh, tree court days. We were we were used to like rule the roost at. Um, we were the mayors of this place called Tree Court. It was a, and we would just that's where harass people. Oh, harass yeah. people. Yeah, like the all the uh, lifeguards. Oh my god, we were so in love with them. We would like stalk them and write poems about them and give. There them was to one them. guy that looked like the um, Tom Everett, Tom Scott Everett from American Werewolf in Paris, and so we called him A Whip because it's American Werewolf in Paris, Paris. So we called him A Whip, and there was another guy that wore sunglasses, and we were like, he looked like <laughs> cool, like. Uh, zoot suit riot so we called him swinger <laughs> and so swinger and a whip were these like hot lifeguards that we were like like drowning or whatever to get them to like pay attention to you taylor got like one of them you started dating did swinger. you swinger yes swinger. so jealous and i remember one zoot time i was like riot. we were just riot. i was so interested in sex obviously but none of my friends were having it i wasn't having it and i thought taylor was a little bit more experienced than me no. and i remember going over your house and being like what did you and swinger <laughs> and you drew a picture of a hand and you just circled the finger and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> like it was so crazy to talk about what we did I, just, I couldn't just go like that, this I had to draw a, you couldn't like say an, he fingered me you had to circle a finger instead of just 
going like amazing this. take one second oh my god well uh taylor's here i gotta go um i'm going to another show i'm going to a radio show it's in chesterfield taylor's gonna drive me um i don't know how i feel about that but i actually do it's gonna be fun she's driving me in a car is it the one that she stole a couple years ago from new orleans no she had to give that back because it had a fucking siren on it <laughs> this one's her mom's <laughs> kia sorrento we're gonna have fun never let go damn we always end in those. Sometimes ways. I think about jumping on a train. Yeah. But I feel like it'll bring my parents so much pain. <laughs> but I get back, I sit back, and I relax when I eat the sandwiches like a Mexican boy who gets um, told that he did it, but it was really me. And I feel <laughs> really bad because he got hit in his knee. This isn't taking any really context at any point. It huh? just sounds racist. Oh, oh, does it? <laughs> it won't be taken out of context. It's not. <laughs> Taylor, do you want to rap about uh, literally anything? Th- I'm sorry about all the shame I've caused the Glazer name by telling you all my crime at this very hard time. <laughs> That's good. That was really good. I did not mean to shame you, but I do want you to stop stealing, and I love I, you so no, no, much. No, no, keep going. Keep going. And I thank you so much for being here. Like we've never had anyone this interesting on the podcast no. ever. Oh, like I can't even believe how can't. crazy your stories are, and I want to have you back. And I hope you don't feel like it was a shame fest. I. I can use a little shame every once in a while. Yeah, well, Oof. shame is my. I, that's what I. I do to people. Yes, it's what I. Well, that's what I love doing <laughs> to myself. So I give to other people quite often. I'm sorry about that. She's a giver. But I, Andrew, treat. you should say goodbye to me last night. But you apologize. So I. I, I apologize for my crimes. Um, I was just bringing that, but as a joke, I really wasn't harping it again. I accept your apology. Oh, no, and no, I appreciate no, no. it. Thank I you. Was, is and you still were a fun rap? last night. Uh, <laughs> it's a rap as in W-A-R-P alright guys thank you so much for listening to the show oh look at Luigi he knows when I'm saying goodbye Peace. don't be cut out there and Jack Jack's eyes what Jack's eyes <laughs> Jack's eyes <laughs>